<sighs> well, you finally showed. <laughs> I thought you might have gotten cold feet considering how we're only a few feet away from the kitchen. Come on in, come on in. This is my lovely home, just got built. The barnyard's in the back, but we'll check that out later. For now, I have to ask you one important question. Who's hungry? <laughs> Say hello. Today I'm here with Jamie, and everybody knows that food is better with family, and that's why they're here today. Jamie, why don't you introduce yourself? I'm Jack's cousin Jamie. That's right. Today we're making a secret cornucopia, consisting of a lot of beautiful secrets, and you're gonna come along for the journey with us and explore all the many palettes of our beautiful breakfast. Let's get cooking. Now before we get started on breakfast, everybody knows there's one more important thing about uh, cooking. And that is the bread. And bread is so important. And bread, I think, is the, uh, the binding material between meals. Don't, wouldn't you agree? So let's break bread and uh, get all our horses in one race before we start on breakfast. Everybody knows that food is best served as a family affair. So I'm gonna have Jamie walk you through the steps because I'm just here along for the ride. Take it away. Let's make some sourdough. Let's make some sourdough! And we got a perfect starter and we're naming him Paul Sorvino. Sour Vino. Emphasis on the sour. Follow me. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. I need to introduce you to a family member of mine that you've never met. Oh, I, I don't know. In, meet Sully. This is Sully! This is Sully. And wh who is Sully? I can't really, I don't see a Very face. Very alive. He, anthropomorphic? He, he, yes. Uh -huh. Very alive. He grows, he smells great. Ooh, he's definitely got personality. And he might be my favorite family member. Yeah, I, I can, I can, I can dig, uh, I can dig Sully. Yeah. Bring him on so, in. So, Sully wants to have a child for you, so we'll do that. Okay, a new family member. Mm -hmm. I can jive. So we're gonna share, but let's first show you what Sully can do. You ready? I'm, I've never been more ready in my life. Okay. All right. So sourdough, uh, really, truly, the only ingredients are flour. Um, water, spring water and spring water. sea salt. Very important. That, that's it. So the bread that you like, that I make, that's really three ingredients. Yeah. So um, I'm going to just measure ingredients and let's go for it. So put... You're letting me do it? Yeah, I want you to do it. Oh, geez. I want you to measure 330 grams. 330. Are we counting the bowl? The bowl doesn't weigh any grams. Well, I teared it, which okay. means it's now at zero. Put the bowl on and then it goes to zero. You thought this through, didn't you? Okay, I'm going Wait, how many? Look at that. 329? Okay, that works, yeah. You sure? Oh yeah, one gram, we're good. Okay. Now, uh, sourdough, Sully likes it to be warm, so we're gonna knock the chill off of it. It doesn't have to be hot, it okay. should be hot. Good to know he's got preferences. Yes. Brilliant. So really, truly, just knocking the chill off. I mean, 30 seconds. Right, yeah. 30 seconds will do you. That's the magic sound. Especially at 1 a.m. Bring it on in. So we're going to put it back on. Hit tear and watch it go to zero. Now, we want to add 30 grams, I'm sorry, 100 grams into here. 30 yes. grams is what we need. Um, uh, this is going to look, if it's done right, it's going to have like strings. Like, watch. See all the strings? Whoa! That's a lot of strings. Like this, yeah, it's going to be like a stringy, stretchy look. So then we want to get 100 grams of this in here. Definitely. For all those slime lovers, this is for you. This is exactly what it looks like. Yeah. Yeah. And when it deflates and oh, it gets so hard, pretty. it literally looks like, or it's not unlike cement, really. Okay. And tear, what, what, what does that mean necessarily? So like, it means you want to weigh what's inside the bowl and not the bowl included in it. So you man. put the bowl on, hit tear, it takes the weight to zero. So then what you're measuring is... Just the contents. Just the contents, yeah. Good. All right, where are we at there? 120 grams. Yeah, so, That's good? Yeah, I'm good with that. I, okay. I, I would not do 125, but I will go 20 grams either way. Now, some people are super specific and be like, no, 20 grams to throw it off. I've never known that to be the case. So, if, and it's really hard to, like, can you imagine trying to pull some of that back out, right? Yeah, it's I wouldn't, be, like, I wouldn't dare. Right? Yeah. So, all right, now I'm gonna put Sully back over there. He needs to rest. Sully? But he'll grow again. Mm -hmm. He's very active. Okay. Just like life. Yeah, totally. I'm trying to think of the metaphor, but okay, I'll bring him over there. Be careful with him. He's special. 
little resting place. Okay, flour. Flour, the most important ingredient of them all. Isn't that right, Jamie? That is correct. Oh, good. So we are going to put 500 grams of flour, but we're gonna do um, 450 grams of bread flour and 50 of whole wheat. I like the whole wheat for the flavor. It's like a nutty flavor. I do too. So. Very familiar. No, it will. So we got, we're gonna do tear, tear yep. right? Right, do it. Okay, oh, first let's mix this so that it's, now listen, I will say this. Um, you, have you ever seen that commercial where the lady has uh, said, oh, I want it to look like you spent all day in the kitchen and she throws flour on her face? Have you ever seen that one? You're probably too young for that. Do you know which one I'm talking about? Um, she knows. That's totally inaccurate. The flour is gonna be all over your face, all over your shirt, all over the kitchen. Then I should put an apron on, shouldn't I? You really should, yeah. Where's that, where's that flowery one that you had? It's in the pantry. Gotcha. Wait, how do I? Yeah, like that, like that. Like that? That's right, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna... Oh, look at it foam, look at it froth. Ready to go. That's all hand done, hand spun. All right, we're gonna add until we get to 500, but we're gonna do 450 of this. Four fifty. God, you're good. <laughs> it's all intuition. And when you're raised in the South, you know how to make the South happen for your belly. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy, and I'm so hungry. I'm hungry too, to be honest with you. Five hundred and one. One for extra measure. One right. gram for extra measure. Now, um, now we. You can mix this by hand. What's this I called, by the way? This is a dough whisk. Um, because if you try to you do a regular whisk with things like this, it, the tines are too like small, and it's going to stick to, and it's going to be a big old clump, which mm. it will with this as well. What would that do to the bread if I used it? Would that change the bread? It would do anything. It would oh, okay. just be hard to mess with. Good to know. I mean, Good to yeah. know. So it just is going to take a time. So you're going to get in here, and okay. I want you to just stir. Now start taking to the outside and bringing that. Yep. Oh, this is fun. This is starting to look productive. Yeah, yeah, that I was gonna say, it ends up going like this because it's oh, gonna be a thick. Brilliant! And then pull up, take your finger, go down. Oh, have you washed your hand? Yeah. Okay, good. Are you bring it all down? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now go at it from the outside and start scraping to see there's still some flour. Yeah, yeah, that's it, yeah. I guess it's in the jeans. <laughs> that's why I'm so good at all this. Okay. And then scrape like you can see along the sides there. Now, what do you do about the excess stuff, excess stuff on your finger? You just you wiggle just, that yeah, around? Yeah, honestly, you're gonna, not going to do anything about like it. Like an awkward booger? It, and then you're going to wash it off. That's okay. There's really nothing you can do about it. There's really no neat way to do it. Just know your hands are going to get disgusting and then go wash it off. Okay. Well, thank you for letting me do the dirty work. Yeah, so let's get a plate and we're just going to rest it on here. We're just going to set it on top. Should I dunk it, dump it? Oh, that's what we're doing. And then we're gonna put it over here to rest. <laughs> now, wash your hands. Wouldn't you know? Um, you, we have to clean up what we've done with sourdough before we start anything else. Agreed. Yeah. Wait, am I cutting them like this? No, okay, stop. So at first I was tricking you. Uh, that, that was just a trick to see if you were paying attention. What you, you wanna do is cut them in quarters lengthwise and that's something I learned many, many years ago. Um, and it's, and I've been doing it ever since. Chopping them from, and quarters is the only way to do it. This is, I don't know, I don't know. Like that? Oh, I get it. I, I mean, I know this. Yeah, I've known this for years. Uh, no, well, no, my potato as well. Not only do I know potato history, but I know potato preparation, every single format. And you know what's crazy? So, potatoes are like eggs. You can cook them all sorts of ways. Okay, biscuits. Biscuit City. All right, super simple, just a few little tricks, makes awesome. Okay. So, self-rising flour. Um, if you don't use self-rising, you would end up, basically this is flour with baking, uh, baking powder and salt in it. And so, um, it's just already ready to go with all of that. So we're gonna do two cups. There's a thousand different recipes for biscuits. This is my favorite. This is the same one that my mom and grandparents have made. Um, so it's just my favorite one. There will be people who cut up butter in it, cut up, you know, this is just my favorite way. Right. Mmm, look at that. Right. Mound of flour, I feel like Scarface. Okay, let's get it. Shortening. Okay. So we're gonna put this in. 
So what is shortening exactly? Well, it's fat it's that just, is yeah. hardened. I mean, when okay. I say hardened, I mean it's you know it solidifies. Solidifies yeah, exactly. Solidifies, yeah. All right. And this is and this is vegetable shortening, so it's like vegetable oil kind of. Oh. Thing. Um, I'm gonna get this Crisco kind of coated, and I'll show you what to do. But we want to we want this Crisco to mix with the flour, and so we're gonna cut. Ah. Oh. Cut, cut, and then we're just gonna keep going like this. We're gonna get crumbs. It's gonna end up being to where it's like crumbly wow. and smaller pieces. You'll have to run your finger in there every now and then, get that out of there. All right, so sure. okay. go for it. Just cut until you can tell that it's good incorporated. Don't forget the sides, you know, you'll need to pull that flour down from the sides. And the final finished product of this is gonna look something like sand? Great. Yeah, okay. yeah, and it'll kind of like stick together, so like, you know, like you can, it almost clumps up a little bit so you can tell like the fat of the Crisco is getting in there. Yeah, brilliant. And stir around a little bit to make sure. See, there's like a bigger piece there. Do that one and then go at it one more time. Scrape down like that right there and mm. get that off there. Oh, wow. It has changed. Yeah, it's different and it? it's like crumbs. Yeah. yeah. Not a powder. Okay, that's great. So scrape that off really good. Make sure you get any Crisco bits off of that. Drop that in the sink and we'll wash that in a minute. Um, this is the measuring cup I always use for this because the buttermilk, I want it to go all the way to the top. So I would say this is one cup and a smidge more okay. of buttermilk. I don't I know appreciate. why the smidge matters, but it does. Buttermilk is so pretty. Is right. Okay, so now dump that in there. And it is thick, buttermilk is thick, so I usually will spatula out because look how much Oh yeah, wow. Out. Because it sticks, it's just a thick yeah. thing. Now, self-rising flour, you do not want to overmix. I can, I mean, literally you're gonna think it's not mixed. Okay. But it is. And we're about to put this on this counter and cut these out. Oh, cool. Yeah, I asked your mom if it was okay, because I always just do it on my counter. That's brilliant. All right, so now messy. that it's kind of getting incorporated, it's very dry, I'm gonna bring it together, but I'm gonna do it really quick. The less you stir, the better. And you're gonna look at this and think, there's no way you're pouring that out on the counter because it's very sticky and very dry. If you are correct, it would not work by itself. So, but we got flour for that, don't we? Flour. Yes, yeah, do something before you set it. Yeah. So we're gonna dump this out, and what we're gonna do is make the dough you're so good. We're going to form the dough once it gets on here because, okay. again, you do not want to mess with this. Okay? Just... The less you mess, the less you stress. Now, this is, <laughs> yeah. nowhere, this is in no way a dough right now, right? No it way. It technically is. So, we're going to take, and I always, because you don't want to stick like this back in this, I literally take a handful and I put it up here in the corner because I will need more flour. Well, I'm doing this, but I don't want to put my dirty hands or the dirty utensils back in there. So okay. I'll do that, and then I'm going to sprinkle generously here, and then our hands are going to do the work here. So we're going to get flour in our hands, uh, and then we're going to form the dough. Can you see how tender it is? Yes. Like, so that's what's going to make the biscuit like that. So you need to come and get flour all over your hands. Take your ring off. Yep. Oh, look at okay. that. Right, it's getting there. So get okay, I want to play. And actually get another little handful and put it here for me since I've already got this on my hands. Yep. Is this good? This. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm. And then get your hands, dig in there, and go like, get like this. Mm. There you go. Sorry. Now, we want to form this into the shape we want. Yeah. So oh, man, this feels small. fantastic. That's, no, that's good. Yes. Okay. Okay, so we, yeah, we don't, we want it to be about this thick. So mash the edges in if you need to, and you're going to form it until, don't we let it get any thinner than like this. Oh, you have a sweeter than a bag of trees. So, it's fantastic look, city. Look, yeah. you can do both. This is the way you go around. That's the, the way to do it. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, I could take direction. You want it to be able to hold up to being cut as a yeah. biscuit, but you want it to be thick enough to rise. Okay, this is good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna yeah, you're gonna leave your hands just like that. It's gonna bother you. Okay? Yeah, I know, but that's just yeah. the way it is. This is the way so, it is. Um, so I way. usually will take a little bit of the dough, get this kind of like this, because you need this to be coated with flour or it, the dough's gonna stick all stick over. Stick to it. Ah! So we do this and then look. No wonder! Uh... Now, the best way to use this is to go all the way as far to the edge as you can, go down, twist, 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 and then lift up quick, put your hand under, and here we go. 
This is a greased pan. I always use this pan, so the biscuits almost end up looking a little bit more square, but it's just the best pan for me. Gosh, so. you got it down. All right, now, you're going to town on this. <laughs> this is driving you crazy, isn't it, Shane? Yeah, I have a thing for like dry, um, you know, I think it probably bothered me at first, too. No, but... Now don't do the middle yet. Okay, so okay, do over here. All the way around the outside edge. Mm -hmm. And then twist, twist. Lift no! Hey, no! Nothing. no we can yeah, salvage nothing. it. No, you saved it. That's exactly what you do. Good call. Yep. I didn't even Good call. That. That's instincts, boy. It's all up here. It's instincts. All up here. Thinking on my feet. Okay, here we go. That's what you've been training so for, Jack. Another thing too is maybe go to the all the way to the edge, remember, and then you can get your hand under there easier. Okay. Okay. And then whatever's left, we'll just form it into the tiniest little bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yay! You did it! Tennessee Pride Sausage, the leader of the pack when it comes to the prowess of the South. <sighs> Peel these puppies off. And your hands don't get near as messy. It's, it's frozen, and you cut it when the wrapper is on. Uh-huh. Sand dollars of the South is what they call these. <laughs> Silver dollars in my pocket. Silver dollars made of sausage. Silver dollars in my pocket. Wanna eat you and I'll slop it up in my mouth. Eat it like Christmas time. Food in my belly makes me feel so restful. Magnifique. My eyes are starting to burn from this beauty. Ow! They're fighting back. What's the other say? Oh, bullseye! Oh, baby biscuits, I wanna make love to your dough. Then I wanna rub it around my soul with love and I'll set a timer for those. Uh oh, Gripper's coming over to observe. This is his territory. I'm not a part of this. Yeah. Oh! Good. Yeah, you can handle it. I got shot Embrace in the chest. The pain. Oh, the pain. shoot. That's a good one. All right, keep going. Embrace the pain. Yeah! It's motivating me. Keep flipping so that I can eat sooner. Oh, God. It's like I'm in a war zone. Yeah. Oh, that's working. That's good. That's working nice. <laughs> Thoughtful. Oh, those are so good. Oh, yeah. Will you help with the eggs? I want you to do the eggs. Exactly. Oh, MG, that is so things beautiful. Are happening. Yeah. Things are happening. Things are happening, and good things, mind you. Okay, let's get these off. Okay, and I will just like to say that um, these eggs uh, were whisked by an anonymous source, and they are purred to perfection. And we're gonna have a little. Uh, uh, anonymous source, Grandpa, yeah. who's gonna who's gonna but cook them up for us. You can do that. So, so you're on egg duty. Is yeah, that okay? Yeah, the, the eggs are like. And I just wanted to get that in before I forgot. Are you getting hungry, buddy? All right. Now, I'm gonna make anybody hungry. Yeah. <laughs> look, we're gonna scrape. Look, you know what I was telling you? Scrape that scrape. We're scrape the bottom, and then we're gonna drain this fat. We only need about two tablespoons of fat in this, but we're not gonna make the gravy until the eggs. Since Grandpa's making the eggs, we'll do the gravy at the same time he's doing the eggs. Normally, you would do gravy and then eggs, but it's better if we do it at the same time. Since Grandpa's helping, we'll get this good. This is raw milk, illegal in California, but. Very much legal in my house because I live in Nashville, Tennessee. Okay. And it, where's it from? White County? Yeah, White from the beautiful cows of White County. So I will start out with about two and a half cups, which I think we'll probably end up needing like three and a half to four. Beautiful. I've never seen milk look so pretty it. before. Oh, it's, I, do you like that? You should. I don't should like, I taste I, it? I've never tasted raw oh, milk. You've got to. You've okay, got to. sweet balls. Pause. No, bring it up here. Do you want to taste the legal milk really quick? We're breaking the laws, all it's sorts not gross. of gross. It's really truly. I don't drink. I, don't, I never I don't drink. drink. Milk and, I, and don't be offended if I don't like it. It's probably just because I don't no, you like, like milk. It. Whoa, dude. Whoa, dude. That's so weird, dude. It tastes like it's like you know when you know when you have like frosted flakes or something and you eat like you drink the milk at the bottom of the frosted flakes. That's what that freaking tastes like. You know when you know when you have like frosted flakes or something and you eat like you drink the milk at the bottom of the frosted flakes. That's what that freaking tastes like. Oh. Biscuits. Biscuits. <gasps> ah! 
But it might not be done. I love I'm this. Get them out. Okay. Well, let me see if we need to cook the tops a little bit. What do you think? Yeah, let's It could be a little golden herb. Should yeah. we turn it off? Uh, put it on broil for literally a minute. Wow, we can watch it turn around. Time lapse. These are the biscuits of my life. Perfect. Perfecta. Look, tell me, tell me. Oh, tell me more. Oh, I mean, right. Sweet nothings in my ears and in I my ears. You go like this and pull them up like this, and then that, yes, look at that, look at that. Go for it. Okay. So is this something I learned just from the top of my head? Not from anybody in particular. I'm kidding. From Jamie, of course. Oh my God! These look so freaking good. I'm so freaking excited for this. It's gravy time. Put a couple of these big spoonfuls in that. Hmm? Yep, perfect. Okay. Yep, medium, perfect. All right. Okay, Milk City, population us. Where? Flower City first. Flower City first. First stop. First stop, Flower yeah. City. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, ready? Yes. So. Whoa! This is the part. That Science. I'm now, grab the milk. Grab the milk. Oh. Grab that milk. Okay, ready, three? Oh, no, no, okay. no, no, we gotta cook this flour first. If we don't cook the flour. It's amazing! Yeah. Three, first. two, yeah. one. Go for it, just pour it, go for it. All right, stop, stop, stop. We're making gravy, Four Grandpa. More. Four more. See, do you see why this is the most stressful thing to me? Like, yeah, keep going, keep going, you're good. Yes, oh, right, shut. stop, you're good. I don't know why you didn't no. stop, but I kept going. No, you're doing good, you're doing good. We did. Put the rest of it in there and then go get the milk. Yeah, go off, go for it, go for it. Yep, now go get the, yeah, ready? I'm probably actually, yeah, go for it. Just I mean, Tell me when. Ridiculous amounts. And oh, hey, get the pepper meal, because I love the look of cracked pepper. Okay, so stop there. So we can get right, Yeah, I love the big, huge chunks. All right, now we just gonna let this sit down. You wanna do an egg salad? No, you wanted, yeah, yeah. I'll say so, yeah, because we're about ready. What an ultra vibrant day to self express and make food with family. Do you got anything to say about eggs? There's some secret to it, Jack. It keeps stirring. <sighs> so anticlimactic. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I know. And a one, a two. I really gonna do this now. Oh, it's heavy, baby. I got a lot of eggs in one pan. So my hands are shaking and my hand is rising and my heat is getting super high. But I feel amazing and I feel electric when I dig into the pan. I feel so alive because the eggs make me jive. The eggs make me jive. I said the eggs make me jive tonight. Oh, baby. Got it. Those eggs look incredible, Grandpa. Those look like, you know when like in Japan when they master the tamago or something? It's like, that's, that, I mean, I mean. Ah, oh, jeez. It's like, <laughs> bullseye. Chef's gotta eat too. <laughs> that's the rules. There's plenty. Did you want that milk? Wow, exquisite book. Ah, dear Jamie, dear Jack, dear Lord, thank you so much for the bounty and the fruitfulness of this food, and thank you so much for the opportunity and the and the, and the, and the love that emanates from these eggs, this gravy, these potatoes, and these warm effervescent sausages. Thank you. And thank you for tuning in. I'll see you next time.